You're watching Telecom TV from the second annual TIP Summit in Santa Clara. And I'm joined now by Josh Leslie, who is CEO of Cumulus Networks. Josh, thanks for talking with us on Telecom TV. Thanks for having me. First of all, we're going to talk about the Telecom Info project and your involvement with it, but tell me a little bit more about Cumulus first. Yeah, sure. Cumulus is a venture capital-backed startup here in, in Silicon Valley. We've been um, building a software, you know, software stack for switching and routing for the last seven years. Uh, our, our founder and, and founding team you know, came out of Cisco and VMware, and, and we recognized that uh, some of the largest companies in the world, companies like Google and Amazon, were building infrastructure in a, in a new way, uh, using open source, using commoditization, uh, and in a better way, and, and we've been building our company and our software products to allow you know, anybody in the marketplace to, to do something similar. So tell me more about Cumulus Network's involvement with the Telecom Infra Project, and specifically the Open Optical Packet Transport Project Group. Yeah, so we're partnering with, with Facebook as the primary software platform to run on Voyager. You know, Voyager is the platform Facebook has been working on for quite some time uh, to be a data center interconnect platform. And uh, you know we've been engaged with Facebook for, for a while now uh, to discuss how we could work together, and we're in the process of supporting our software to the platform so customers can have you know full access uh, to all of the software protocols and functionality they need to take advantage of this you know great new platform from Facebook. Um, specifically, this this platform Voyager, um, we, we've we've heard about trials with the various operators and, and some are about to start trials, but, but what exactly does, does Voyager do? How does Voyager help operators? Yeah, so Voyager you know, connects uh, data centers, uh, whether they be you know, close together within a city or whether they be you know, far apart, um, but it allows data centers to you know, uh, connect to each other using you know, uh, very low cost, very high bandwidth uh, types of systems. Um, you know, this has a, a lot of different applications for service providers and even for you know, uh, traditional telecom and you know, more modern service providers. So you're bringing your Linux-based solution and, and, and putting and porting it onto Voyager? That's right. And when might we see this um, roll out or in the market or available for others to use? Yeah, so we're, we're expecting uh, the platform to be available uh, at the beginning of 2018. Uh, we're, you know, we're hard at work you know, already. Uh, mo you know, most of the software functionality is software that Cumulus has built over the last seven years, and so it's you know, been deployed by hundreds of customers uh, on thousands of devices. And so really one of the things that we're doing is taking this very well understood software platform and porting it onto this new hardware platform. And so we get the benefit of those economics and you know, the, this new type of optical platform, uh, but we also get to take this you know, very robust, very tested, very well understood software uh, operating system that Cumulus has built and allow customers to immediately get the benefits of, uh, of this combination. Now, as you said earlier, you, you were, when the company was started, you were looking at what the web scale companies were doing and how they were building their networks uh, and applying it to our, our networking business. Um, but how does, how does the creation of TIP, because TIP's only, what, a, two years old now, and yet it's, it, it's, it's covering a lot of areas. There's a lot of project groups there. There's, there's, there's real momentum behind TIP already, but how does the creation of, of TIP help with the general industry development into using more open approaches? Yeah, so I think what Facebook is doing uh, is really an analogy for what's happening kind of everywhere in our industry, right? Which is, you know, commoditization of hardware and commoditization of software and the use of open, transparent technologies to drive down cost, and to provide access to a larger and larger set of people. Uh, you know, in the networking industry, within telecom, but in general, you have you know, many, many years of legacy proprietary closed systems uh, that have you know, stunted development for, for telcos, they've stunted development for enterprises, they've made it costly and expensive to connect you know, people, applications, data centers, systems, to do networking, and, and so with you know, Facebook and Cumulus, we have incredibly aligned missions as organizations. And we build a Linux operating system that drives down cost and you know, creates transparency in the networking space. And whether we do it in a data center, whether we do it as an edge box, whether we do it to connect data centers, for us as a company, it, it really doesn't make that much of a difference. The, the key thing that we're doing is creating you know, openness, transparency, and commoditization in networking, and so that's where you know, Facebook and Cumulus have this really nice alignment uh, and can really you know, provide value to all of the different constituents for, for these types of platforms. Josh, thank you very much indeed. Yeah, thank you.